What is up Pisces? Welcome to your general timeless reading. These are timeless so whenever you see this is when it's most meant for you. These are also general so please only take the pieces that resonate and leave the rest. Check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter placement on my channel. If you want a free 15 minute reading sign up for a patron as a tier 2 or 3 patron now through March 15th and if you want a personal reading or a Reiki session I am a master Reiki practitioner. You can go ahead and look at my website down below in the description box. I also have a $10 off promo for all hour long sessions, uh, whether it be a personal reading or a Reiki session for the whole month of March that you guys can check out. Other than that, like, share, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up and let's get into it Pisces. Let's see what's going on for you guys. Thank you for being patient. I know these are being uploaded a little later than usual. Um, but yeah, let's see what goodies we got. Let's do cosmic tarot for you. Pisces. What do we got for Pisces? We have the new moon in Pisces this Saturday, even though I know it's a timeless reading. It'll be Saturday the 13th at 521 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 221 a.m. Pacific Standard Time at 23 degrees Pisces. So check where that lands in your houses. Okay. In your houses, not in your planets. Okay. Just be mindful of that. And set your intentions accordingly. I already did the live energy shift reading for that for my tier two and three patrons. So if you want access to that, you can go ahead and sign up on Patreon and you will already see the energy shift reading for that. It's pretty interesting. So let's see what's going on for Pisces. Let's see for Pisces. I heard sun and moon. I heard sun and moon. I'm not going to take any of that because there's just way too much. Sun and moon. We got the seven of pentacles. And what else wanted to pop out? And the star. Why does this feel like invested in lost dreams? Um, this feels like you've invested in something that you're, it's almost like, it feels, I don't think yet you've missed it. I don't think that it's lost. I really don't. I think that it's just, it might seem that way because that hasn't happened yet. Seven of Pentacles is a card of analyzing. It is a card of investing time and energy into something. Yeah, you haven't lost it yet. King of Cups and the Four of Wands. I feel like this is what's coming in. The star speaks to missed opportunities though. Seven of Pentacles is investing time and energy. The star I feel like it's second chances. I do. I just feel like it's delayed. It's going to happen in divine time. Some of you might be getting discouraged that things aren't happening quite yet for you, or they might be slowed down. This King of Cups energy and the Four of Wands feels like an energy, yeah, an energy that's coming in with the Chariot. Two of Wands underneath that. It's a new path that's trying to come in. Whatever it is that you're hoping and wishing for, if you're getting discouraged with the Seven of Pentacles energy that you've invested this time, this energy, whether you've been trying to build something for yourself or you're waiting for a connection to move forward, this person that you're waiting on and the Four of Wands, the foundation or relationship you want with them, I do think that it's coming in or it's going to resurrect. It just needs some time. With the star there, it's happening in divine time. It's not going to happen on your time, right? The Seven of Pentacles just feels like very discouraged, which is a strange feeling because the Seven of Pentacles is about investing time and energy and it's a card of analyzing. It's not like a discouraged kind of um, energy typically, but it really does feel that way. It really does feel that way. With the Chariot though, things are going to move forward for sure. And with the Two of Wands, it speaks to a new path, which I really, really like. And I think it's going to move forward unexpectedly. Let's get into some clarifiers. Um, yeah, let's use Sun and Moon Tarot. Actually, let's use Revelations. Let's use Revelations. Whoa, get over here. Don't be like that. Let's look at the Seven of Pentacles. I'm gonna see why. This just feels like someone who's trying to manifest and create something for themselves. And while waiting for it, wanting it, craving it right now, and it's just not happening quite yet, 
they might be becoming impatient and starting to get into that thought process that it's not happening. And it's just that, it's not that it's not happening. It's just that they might be getting discouraged because it hasn't happened quite yet. Yeah, temperance in reverse, impatience. Literally, temperance in reverse speaks to impatience. They're getting impatient. Yeah, they're getting impatient. Let's look at the star. <laughs> it's so funny. Of all the cards, temperance in reverse, literally getting impatient. Temperance is Sagittarius energy. Sorry, I'm getting itchy. I always get itchy when I channel and my hair tickle on my face doesn't help either. Yeah, the star, knight of cups, and the ten of pentacles. It's coming. It's coming in divine time. This offer of love and stability, all this stable foundation, this legacy, this commitment, this new contract with somebody, it's going to come. Just take a deep breath. It will happen when it needs to happen, though. It's going to happen in divine time. I just keep hearing not yet. Not yet. It's just, it's not time. It's not time yet for it to happen. And it's most likely because energetically, right, the more we squeeze something, the more we hold on to it and we don't give it space to grow, to expand, the more it's actually going to elude us, right? It's, it, just imagine if someone's hugging you and squeezing you really, really tight, you're most likely going to be like, yo, get off me. Like I need some space to breathe. Like I do not like this. That's like the definition of codependency. You're, you're clinging onto me too tight. You're a stage five clinger. I need some room to breathe. You're going to want to push them away. Same thing happens with manifestation. If you're manifesting something and you're holding onto that idea of the manifestation and you're not releasing it and surrendering it and just having faith that it's going to come to you, you're holding it too tight. It's not going to want to come to you. You need to give it room to breathe. You need to allow it to choose to come to you, to just energetically flow to you. The same thing's happening here. If you're holding on and analyzing it and, and craving it so much, it's almost like propelling it away from you. Okay. Just let it flow. Let's look at this four of wands. Oof. Oh, interesting. We have the ace of cups. Six of Cups in Reverse, the Sun, and the Seven of Wands. Some of you, this is a past person wanting somebody from the past to come back, especially with the Ace of Cups and the Sun. That's amazing. It's like having, um, it's the Seven of Wands speaks to bravery, but it's also like determination and resilience to me as a reader. But the Four of Wands and the Three of Wands, sorry, between the Four and the Seven is the Three of Wands. It's your ships coming in. This foundation is going to come around. It's going to bring in happiness. It's going to bring in this Ace of Cups energy, but it's going to happen when you step into that higher frequency, right? When you step into that energy of being present in this moment and not clinging on, right? Not clinging on to that manifestation, not clinging on to that person, remembering that I am enough exactly as I am. I do not need that individual. I do not need that manifestation. I have everything I need right here in this moment exactly as I am currently, right? But this individual is somebody that's connected to the past. It's somebody you already know with the Six of Cups energy in reverse. It's an old energy. It doesn't speak to soulmates when it's in reverse. To me as a reader, it speaks to it being as an old energy already. It's somebody you already know. It can be a soulmate. I'm just not, I'm not gonna force it to fit. It's just somebody you already know. Let's look at the King of Cups. Eight of Swords, Eight of Wands in reverse, and Death in reverse. Yeah, so the King of Cups, it's not, it's not that this is, how do I word this? It's not that this is, this is their energy, but it's their energy because it's you thinking about them. That's why they're showing up. Eight of Swords tells me that you are thinking about them. It's analysis paralysis about this person, right? That's what's blocking them. Eight of Wands in reverse is my blocked card. That's where the transformation needs to occur, death in reverse. That's what needs to change, okay? That's what's going to create this rebirth of this person's energy. This rebirth of this person's energy, this person coming back for this new cycle in love, for all this happiness, for this resilience, for this new stable foundation of the past that you want so badly with this king of cups is going to occur when we stop this analysis paralysis when we stop clinging so tight to the manifestation because that's what's blocking all of this ace of cups energy right ace of cups that's what's blocking the offer and the ten of pentacles because 
we're becoming a little impatient. Leave it up to the divine. What's meant for me will always find me. What's meant for me is never going to be withheld from me. I have everything I need right here, right now, in this moment. The universe is always bringing me what's meant for me. Everything's always flowing my way in divine right time. Let's look at the chariot. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, it's a builder energy. This this is a focusing on the present moment. This Three of Pentacles, it feels like focusing on the task at hand. And that's when things are going to start moving forward. Yeah, the moon. It's almost like stop, um, stop trying to build into the things that you cannot see. Like, how do I word this? Have you ever tried to do what you think the you do what you think keyword think the universe wants you to be doing in order to get your manifestation faster? If you know what I mean, you've tried to do it. <laughs> Doesn't work that way. What you should be doing is being present, being in this moment right now. That's when you're in your feminine energy. That's when you're in empress energy, and that's when you're receptive because that's how you receive your manifestations. When you're in Empress energy, you're receiving manifestation and Empress energy is present. Empress energy is where you manifest from. It's you manifest from thought. Masculine energy, Emperor energy creates and brings things into the physical. When you're in Emperor energy, you're building. When you're in Empress energy, you're receiving. So if you want to receive this gesture, you want to receive the Ten of Pentacles, you want to receive this Ace of Cups, you want to receive the King of Cups, you need to be present in this moment. You need to be in that frequency of, I'm grateful for today. I'm grateful for everything I do have. I'm grateful for the opportunity to have my gifts, to be able to manifest. I'm grateful for the connections I already do have present in my life. I'm grateful for this person of my past. I'm grateful for the opportunity for them to come back in the future, whether they do or do not, right? It's being in that kind of vibration that's going to attract them if they are of your highest good. Let's get one more on the chariot yeah the lovers and the three of cups in reverse yeah see it's again it's speaking to this illusion of trying to do what you think the universe wants you to be doing building three of pentacles collaborating with the universe illusion right the moon in order to get that relationship back the lovers and the three of cups I'm going to do what I think I should be doing to get this reconciliation, three of cups in reverse, to come to me a little faster so I can have this lover's connection. It's actually going to postpone that connection that much further. Bottom of the deck, king of swords in reverse. That's your masculine energy. You're working from distorted masculine. You're building. That's building. You shouldn't be building. Three of pentacles, building. You need to be receptive. You're building. You should be receptive. Okay? This is what I have for you, Pisces. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Please like, share, subscribe. If you want a personal reading or Reiki session, book it down below through my website. Use the promo code on my website for all hour long sessions in the month of March. It gives you $10 off. And if you want um, a free 15 minute reading, check out Patreon for all tier two and three patrons. You will get a free 15 minute reading now through March 15th. Other than that, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.